Greetings everyone, Ajon here with another Red Alert 3 replay. It's a 3 uh, FFA. It's on the north side is... And I immediately forgot the names. Dutch Army. It's on the bottom right side as the orange player. We have Young, Black, and Blue. And I forgot the name as well. King Kong. What is this? Uh, Ally, so well, Soviet Empire, and Allied game. A bit of everything. Dogs immediately going to be sniffing out the Soviets. We do got a Crusher Crane here. This game may be... Crush... I don't know. When it comes to uh, three... Three for all? Three for all? Three, three free for all? I have no idea what the poly, the build orders are. So Crusher Crane may be normal. He's going straight for dual fire. We're trying to get those up as quick as possible. The Empire player is uh, echoing up as well. Allied player is pretty much playing standard. The thing is, if you push into one player, it can leave yourself exposed to another player. <clears throat> this game can get mess very messy very quickly. We've got Dojo Core here. You have the Oil Derrick being secured. This Oil Derrick has been secured, and this one has been secured by the Allies. The Soviet player gets no Oil Derrick. Do you have Super Reactor? A bit on the front line, I would say. Is he base crawling? I think that's what he's doing. He's base crawling to this v uh, refinery. We do got the combat engineer now garrisoning up that, uh, uh, capturing that oil derrick. No battle bunker before he goes. Dog here. Just dog paddling away. And we do have a burst drone. I'm actually sort of impressed that you can actually base crawl like that. It leaves the super reactor super exposed, but if it gets next to a refinery, it nets your refinery. It's also very risky. Red is sending out Dojo Core and some Imperial Warriors out to blue. We do have some conscripts here, but they are way outclassed. There is a bear. The bear is going to be very important. <coughs> there is a flak trooper for the Dojo Core, and we got the MCB coming in for the crushes. And the Dojo Core will not get crushed. The MCB just gets bit late. And that roar was unsuccessful because they're in the bonsai state. Do got a pretty good roar there. Oh, the, uh... What's it called? All the uh, Imperial Warriors are now down. You got a War Factor here. Perhaps a couple Flex Troopers to deal with the Dojo Core. I right, see something being built. Is that a... Engineer? He could honestly left that unbuilt. So, it will make it so he can't capture it. Because I don't think you can capture a building structure. And there we go. Over here, we do have, looks like, uh, Apollo's versus Mecha Tengus, or Jet Tengus, and I see three explosions there. Defender Core coming up, just in order to provide some air, uh, anti-air support. Vindicator Bombing Run trying to aim for that last, uh, Mecha Tengu. you will most likely transform at the last moment. Uh, that was, sort of is the last moment if he took some damage. Another refinery coming on up. And no, that's not a refinery. That is a Soviet naval yard denying the refinery. The other player is applying some grush into the Soviet player. This would be a good time for the Allied, the Empire player to attack. Quality the Allied player. The Soviet player is also exposed as well. Naval yard. Crusher crane still building. Low power. There is some terror drones. <clears throat> but I get around the naval yard with repairs, you can only use the uh, snare. Navy yard will deny the multi gunner turret is firing. Could potentially see a Tesla tower. On the right side, we do have. Speaking about Tesla towers, that was a very poorly placed one. A Tesla Tower 
behind these structures could be quite nice. There's now multiple riptides here. And now we do also have anti-air support. So now here comes the Imperial player. This is perfect for the Soviet player because this aggression will force the Adult player to respond. We do got two Apollos here. Could see a transform. Uh, there's a lot of guys nearby. He has, he's going to just have to hit the refineries, I guess. These reactors will go down, but will deny that expansion for quite some time. He has a, something cute on up, and that Soviet player is being annoying. Need to put those uh, Riptides into a, uh, aggressive mode so, so they can automatically attack. One of the Vindicators do go down. Did he sink? Like, did it explode? He just sunk. Oh, he did. That just looked weird to me. Apollo is sustaining huge amounts of fire. The Allied player is not in a good spot. He's put too much time of being aggressive with the Soviet player, leaving him exposed to the uh, Imperial player. Now we've got the Soviet player hitting the Imperial player, thanking his somewhat of an ally. Oh! There are some multiple bullfarks there. Those shut down a couple of the jet tengus. But these hammerheads and the terror drone is being very effective. Terror drone actually hopped inside the bullfrog. I think that was actually by an accident because he immediately kicked it out. On the center map we do have the conyard getting hit. There is an ore refinery. While those three refiners next to each other it's a very dangerous spot, to say the least. He does get crushed there. Over here, we do have a Imperial Docks. I think he's upgrading it. Or refinery. There's no collector on this uh, location. A little bit of oversight. And we do actually have some Yari mini subs. He does get the kill on that ore collector. And the Soviet player is now applying some big aggression up north. Luckily, he could, there's a uh, room to maneuver with his uh, bullfrogs over on the left side in that water. A lot of Molotov equipped conscripts as well. The bear does come forward, but was unable to get a uh, successful roar off. We do have some Apollos flying around. Yari mini subs. And where's those bullfrogs? Does lose a hammerhead. Looks like establishing a station. And out or not. Long distance mining. When this area has no mining. That ore collector should just be sent back home. Literally. Apollos and Vindicare is moving forward. Is he going to push forward and they'll... For a forward building point for turrets? Ice does come on in. He does get the ore collector. <clears throat> Soviet player does have a significant army. The Imperial player is just bent on the defensive thanks to the Soviet player. And now this is time for the Allied player to really make some good work. We do got a single Jet Tango here. And now the Prospector is setting on up. We do have a Flat Cannon here. And the Jet Tango does hit some of the Vindicators. Something exploded. No, another Naval Dark Yard here. I think we have to see some uh, Yari mini subs in the area. Yes, we do. Three right now. Was that the construction yard? Yes, I see it. Engineer, he sold off the construction yard. In which he does have a war factory. It's building something slowly. I'm. Th it may be another MCV. And a 3v3 is probably a good idea to immediately rebuild the MCV because... It can go... You can lose everything quite quickly. Tesla Tower set on up. 
quite wounded. That may have been a multi-gunner turret. Or no, it barely reaches the uh, command hub. There is a multi-gunner turret here. He's trying to hit that uh, Tesla tower. And he does sell off the multi-gunner turret. And I, they either got sold or destroyed. No tier 3 items just yet. We do have some Athena cannons, actually. And the Soviet player will feel some aggression. He does have a good amount of any aircraft, but his opponent doesn't have any aircraft. Other than some Apollos we saw earlier. Which I think those are purely meant to hit the Imperial player's aircraft. And here comes the artillery. Takes out the ore collector. And we've got a Shogun battleship. The Soviet player went aggressive on too many people. And now he's going to feel the wrath of two people, I think. He has a good number of hammerheads. But there are some javelins here, as well as a mirage tank. I think this forest is going to be remain pretty defensive. He may just go for aggression by the sea, because we got two shotgun battleships, a good uh, escort of Yari mini subs, as well as some anti aircraft. So the Soviet player has been too aggressive this game, and now he's going to be feeling the wrath of both of these players. But I may have misspoken. The Imperial player may get hit by the Allied player. Those Athena cannons are a little bit out of position, but they do regroup. Shogun battleships are trying to get to the edge of the uh, coastline in order to siege those Athena cannons. We do got a cryo shot coming on in. And the Shogun battleships will be pitching away some hits. They need a uh, target. They need to get these units out of there. The 